Hello and welcome. You're watching Business Today Television. I'm Tanya Aneja. Well, Westlife Food World Limited reported a good set of numbers for the quarter ended September 2022. The company posted highest ever quarterly sales at 570 crore rupees, up 49% on a buy buy basis. To discuss the earnings fine print, I'm going to be joined by a very special guest today. We have with us uh, Mr. Akshay Jatia, who is uh, Executive Director at Westlife Food World Limited. Thank you so much, Akshay, for taking the time out. Yeah, thank you, Tanya. Excited to be here. So first of all, congratulations. I mean, consumers are back. Yet another quarter of solid growth. So what really worked this time around and help us with the numbers? I mean, what was the growth in dining and delivery? And do you expect these results to continue going forward as well? Sure. So, you know, uh, the growth is being uh, continued. Uh, through the momentum that we've established due to a very strong strategy. Uh, we built it on three very strong pillars. One is around brand trust and, uh, you know, our menu innovations. So that's really increased our brand relevance and our product market fit. Uh, secondly, we've, you know, doubled down on our omni-channel approach. And we've spoken about that, you know, even with our investors on our earnings call around how that's allowed us to grow both the on-premise and the off-premise business. And as a result, our entire pie has become bigger. And, and lastly, I think our store expansion plans are also working out well. A lot of the new stores are opening, you know, far better than we used to see historically, as well as our non-metro is performing very well. So as a result of that, I think our total sales growth over last year is around uh, 49%, I think, and 40% SSSG. Uh, uh, the bulk of it has come from, uh, you know, the on-premise business bouncing back very strongly. I think it's grown around 96% over last year. Uh, and, uh, you know, strong growth of, of around 20 plus percent over FY20 as well. And off-premise has grown, you know, around, uh, I think, 12 to 15 percent over last year uh, because we had a strong base where the, you know, off-premise business had almost doubled. And it's grown, I think, 90 plus percent of the FY20 base, you know, when off-premise was a much smaller part of our business. Okay, absolutely. And also, despite inflation, the company has actually managed to increase its margins. So is that going to be possible going forward? And how are you tackling the inflation at this point in time? Sure. So, you know, uh, we continue to work on growing volume. And as a result of that, you see a lot of operating leverage kicking into our business model. And as a result of that, as we said, we've declared our highest cross margin of 65.5% and our highest ever operating profits. How we deal with inflation, you know, inflation is quite normal in our country, food inflation is going to remain high. So as a result of that, we're not strangers to it. Uh, so what we do is we continue to work on, you know, our volume. We then work with our gross margin specifically through pricing. Uh, we've been very smart in the way we've handled pricing uh, and it's been well accepted by our customers. Uh, secondly, you know, we've done a lot of work around removing costs from the system. Uh, and lastly, our product mix has become a lot more favorable to the diverse portfolio of products we have, ranging from our gourmet burgers to our beverages. So as a result, you know, we've been very uh, good at, at managing our gross margin. And as a result, our operating margin and our operating profits are also very high. Okay. And how much price hike will be seen given the inflationary pressures? Sure. So we took a price hike in May of close yeah. to around 5%. And we took 2%, uh, you know, in the month yeah. of October. So actually, uh, this last quarter, we haven't taken uh, any price hike beyond the one in May. So... Okay, and let's talk about the company's expansion plans now. I mean, where are you stepping up for investments now and how many new stores are you planning to open going forward? And what are the store formats we can expect in terms of expansion? Sure. So, you know, we've been very encouraged with our volume growth and we feel that brand relevance and product market fit are at the place we want them to be. And as a result of that, we're now, you know, kind of confident of our expansion strategy. Uh, we, you know, want to do what's right for the market and right for the company. So uh, once we've seen this traction come in, we've given out a statement uh, and a vision where we hope to open around 200 stores over the next three to four years. Uh, a lot of that growth is going to be driven through, you know, existing key markets. But we are going to focus a little more on the south where we have a larger penetration opportunity and brand relevance and product market fit are also very strong now. And also our tier twos, tier threes and smaller towns where we're seeing very encouraging growth because McDonald's has been established as a destination in these places. 
Okay, absolutely. And also, Mac Cafe has surely done well for the company. I mean, I also want to know how that works in terms of share for you as well, and what is the margin contribution that comes in from Mac Cafe? Sure. So, Mac Cafe, you know, is an initiative we launched back in two thousand thirteen, fourteen, and we've been scaling it up as we've seen traction through the business model. It's been very, uh, you know, uh, encouraging, and it's been very good in terms of number one. uh you know premiumizing the brand uh number 2 giving consumers another occasion and another reason to visit mcdonalds so not only does mcdonalds stand for you know burger chicken it also stands very strongly for coffee and our customers are really loving the product uh yeah. in terms of obviously you know gross margin and margins it is a beverage and it does you know add to margins accretively for two reasons one because uh you know it's incremental sales and secondly yes you know the beverage uh, category obviously does have better margins so uh we're definitely seeing it aid both uh volumes uh and customer perception and appreciation for the brand and then lastly obviously our margin profile okay absolutely and also uh, the world is taking a tilt towards esg i mean people are talking about organic foods meat free foods i mean the polluting effects of meat processing so what is the future of mcdonalds in such an esg focused world Sure. So you know, ESG is something that's very close to uh, McDonald's globally as well. Uh, okay. Doing a lot of work around making the supply chain more sustainable uh, globally. You know, beef is a strong part of the supply chain. So uh, you know, that's been spoken about uh, on a global stage. Uh, from our point of view, as Westlife, you know, we've been actually uh, at the forefront of this whole uh, you know sustainable uh, revolution. I think in our category, uh, we started off quite early. In fact, we. uh number one you know started uh, using biodiesel in our trucks for distribution okay. uh number two we've also you know worked on a lot of energy initiatives uh which you know not only uh help us from an optimization point of view but also reduce our carbon footprint so we have something called an energy uh, efficiency management system in all of our restaurants which measures the number of units we consume and we can optimize that to ensure that you know it's not being overused and also in a lot of our restaurants where the climate is better we uh, implement more eco friendly and sustainable forms of cooling versus your traditional hvac so uh, you know these are just two examples of how we reduce our carbon footprint uh, and if i remember correctly you know from a lot of the uh, campaigns we've done and statements we've made on social media our carbon footprint has reduced dramatically as a result of that okay great to hear that and on that wonderful note thank you so much akshay for taking the time out and joining us here on business today television thank you so much thank you sanjay if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe 